Hello, this is James Bear. I want to give you a quick demonstration of how to send an email message to yourself or someone else when a particular log message occurs using the WebLogic Diagnostics Framework. So in this case I'm going to search for this message ID right here uh, when the server is going into running mode. And it's a pretty straightforward process. I have a brand new domain here. I haven't uh, configured much on it yet. I'm going to uh, connect to a local mail server I have. I'm using Apache James just running on my local host. And first thing we do is configure a mail session, which is just a standard Java mail um, connection to that um, SMTP server. I'm going to configure some properties. These are standard uh, Java mail properties that uh, are separated by semicolon. And it's important to um, remember to target the um, mail session at your server. So after we create the connection to the mail server, uh, I'm going down to the diagnostics framework and as you can see there's no di diagnostic system module uh, to start with in a new domain. So we're just going to create a new one here. And once uh, we create it, we can go in and edit it. The first thing I always like to do is remember to target it so I don't forget later. And once it's uh, targeted, I can go in inside and create uh, two different things uh, that are part of the diagnostics framework. Uh, the first one is a um, notification. And so that's going to be using the email uh, that uh, we sent or that we created earlier. So we'll go into the watches and notifications tab of my diagnostics module and first thing uh, I need to do here is also change the uh, log watch severity to notice. If we go back and look this message that I want to be looking for is actually a notice message so otherwise we would have missed it if we left that on uh, warning there. So I'll go ahead and save that and now we're going to create a notification on the notifications tab. I want to send myself an email and we'll just call it the WebLogic email and the recipient I want to be WebLogic at localhost and I want to customize the subject to say that the server is running. Let me go ahead and finish that. That's enabled now. Well, I'm going to go create a watch using that notification and Log, what did I create? Servers running. There we go. Servers running watch. Um, I want to use a, a server log um, watch type, but I could also be looking at JMX metrics, and when they cross a threshold, that could be another type of watch. Um, in this case, uh, we're just going to use the expression editor. It already has pre populated the different uh, types of messages. Uh, attributes and so in this case I'm going to be looking for the ID. WebLogic server is internationalized so by looking for the ID no matter what language is being used um, everything should uh, work just fine there and I'm going to send uh, this notification to uh, the uh, I'm going to use the WebLogic email notification okay so everything's configured and now uh, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I've saved it. Yep. And I'm just going to go ahead and kill my server and bring it back up again. Hopefully, we'll see the email get sent to my local mail client. One of the things you can do if you're trying to debug this is turn on the more uh, verbose logging and um, the server settings. Uh, so you can see that the watch did fire when I restarted my server. If I go over to Thunderbird here and have a check, yep, I got a new message. Server is running as the subject, and I get all this information from uh, the default body. There you have it. So if you have any questions on how to do this, uh, drop me a comment. But it's a pretty straightforward, uh, as you can see, to uh, do some log mining and uh, doing other things more sophisticated like JMX metric monitoring is just a slight variation on this theme.